In this video, I'm going to show you how to create fillets with varying radiuses. So I'm going to start off by just creating a cube and I'll just inset this face like so. And then I'll extrude that, select these edges here and just move this off to the back like so. And I'm also going to add some loops to divide this so that I can work on one quadrant. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the faces that I do not require. I'm also going to add some loops here to the boundaries just to hold the shape when I apply a subdivision surface modifier to this. So normally when you round off a corner, what you would do is select a row of edges like so and you'd hit the bevel command and round out an edge like so let's go ahead and add that subdivision surface modifier and then smooth this now what you'll notice about this edge treatment is that the radius is consistent across the edge and there's no variety to it and sometimes in certain designs it calls for a varied fillet and so i'm going to show you how to achieve that so let's go ahead and undo that bevel and what i'm going to do next is add a control loop here like so and like so and if we go ahead and add that subdivision surface modifier now you'll notice that we let me just pop back out and shade smooth and you'll notice that we have this um, type of edge that is similar to the bevel, but it's not as round. Now, in order to create that um, varied fillet, what we need to do is manipulate the way this control loop is running across the surface. So let's go ahead and disable that. And what I'm gonna do next is Select the vert here, and I'm gonna do this really rough. If you wanna be precise, come up here and ensure that you have snapping on and ensure that you have increment select. But I'm just gonna do it pretty rough. So the next thing you wanna do is hit Shift V on your keyboard, and that's gonna make you move this vertice on the shell. So it's not going to, you know, jump out of position like so. When you hit shift we it's just going to move on the surface. So I'm just gonna move this off to the side like so and do the same thing bottom. So what I'm trying to achieve here is a smaller radius on this corner to a much, much larger radius at this end here. So I will go ahead and select this one and move this off to the side, but just a little bit more and repeat the same thing with this one as well and I will do the same these here but this is going to have the greatest degree of displacement among the other words so I'm just going to eyeball it and push it off to the side once I'm happy with that I'm going to go ahead and now activate my subdivision surface modifier once again and now if we look at this, we have a varied fillet. So the radius is much larger here compared to at the front. And if you want, we can tighten that up a little bit more. So I'm just gonna move this one so that closes so that we have a really tight corner here. So, so that you can see this a little better. And this is the result we end up with. So it's pretty simple to create a varied uh, fillet and let's just jump into the shading tab and add a new material and just add something to ensure that we can see this a little better just going to change the environment as well So now you can see this a lot better. So we have a really tight corner here. And as it sort of moves across the surface from front to back, you'll notice that the radius is 
changing constantly from front to back. And so that's pretty much it when it comes to varied fillets. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in another video. So thanks for watching.